Okay, eighth graders, we're going to solve some equations with square roots. So here we have x squared equals 81, and we want to isolate the x and get it away from the square. So the opposite of square is square root. So you're going to take the square root of both sides, and keep in mind there's going to be a positive and a negative answer that would be the square root of 81. So the square cancels the square root out, and x is freed from the radical. And then the um, square root of 81 is a positive or negative 9 because... 9 times 9 is equal, equal to 81, but also negative 9 times negative 9 equals 81. So there's two solutions there. On this one, you can't take the square root until you get rid of this 3. And this means 3 is being multiplied by a squared. So I've got to divide both sides by 3. Okay, so we have a squared equals 48 divided by 3, which is 16. Then we're going to take the square root of both sides. Keeping in mind the positive and negative answer there. The square cancels the square root out. A is freed, and we have the square root of the positive or negative square root of 16 is positive or negative 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16, but also negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Now on this one right here, we've got to isolate this B. So the first thing we're going to get rid of is this negative 6. We'll add 6 to both sides. So we have 196 equals 4b squared. And then we have to get rid of the 4. This means 4 is being multiplied by b squared. So the opposite operation is to divide by 4. So I have b squared equals 196 divided by 4, which is 49. Now, to get rid of the square, we take the square root of both sides. Remember, we have a positive and negative answer here. So b equals the positive or negative 7, because 7 times 7 is 49, but also negative 7 times negative 7 is 49.